Uh, good evening, everyone. So I thought um, we might begin this evening with a short meditation period. So if you would like to sit cross-legged or sit in your favored meditation posture. Um, <clears throat> Sitting on the floor is preferable, but not um, absolutely necessary. What's important is to find a posture in which you feel relatively comfortable, stable, and in which you can keep uh, relatively still. The, um, the sitting posture is one which should express the balance between uh, effort and relaxation, which is at the heart of the meditation process. So the effort is put into um, maintaining the spine in a straight but not rigid position and then relaxing the rest of the body. A meditation on the breath at one particular point in the body, such as the tip of the nose, um, is quite a subtle meditation. And if we are not um, seasoned meditate meditators, then trying to develop mindfulness of breathing at the tip of the nose uh, can be a very frustrating experience. So to begin with, it's helpful to be mindful of the breath in a more relaxed and expanded way. This evening, the exercise that I would like uh, to suggest we all um, try is to uh, divide the body into four def uh, separate parts and then become mindful of the breath together with whatever sensations are appearing in the present moment in that particular area of the body. So the first area of the body uh, consists of the head, including the face and the neck. So as we breathe in and breathe out in a natural, unforced way, be aware of all the sensations that arise, just ordinary, everyday sensations that you normally pay no attention to, that appear together with the in-breath and all those sensations that appear in the head, the face, the neck, together with the out-breath. second area of the body includes the shoulders, the arms, the hands and fingers. So breathing in, breathing out, together with this awareness of whatever sensations, feelings of heat, or pulsing, flow, or pain, pleasure, whatever is arising, passing away, 
this area of the body consisting of the shoulders, arms, hands and fingers. The third area of the body consists of the torso, so the front of the body including the, the chest, the tummy, the abdomen and the back from the base of the neck right down to the, uh, the tailbone, the coccyx, the whole of the torso, whatever sensations, expansion, contraction, appearing naturally in the present moment. We're not creating anything special, not uh, visualizing anything at all, just awakening to normal, everyday sensations that make up the body sense. fourth part of the body is the whole area from the hips down to the toes, the thighs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, toes, that whole lower part of the body as we breathe in, as we breathe out, being aware of whatever sensations appear, nothing special, it's normal, everyday, unremarkable feelings arising and passing away. Not taking delight in these feelings, not pushing them away, simply recognizing them as we breathe in, as we breathe out. Now be aware of the whole body from top of the head to the toes without choosing any particular area as we breathe in, awake, aware to whatever sensations arising in the body, any part of the body, normal, everyday sensations constitute this physical body as experienced in the present moment. So this is an exercise for familiarizing ourselves with the breath, grounding ourselves in the body, and we can repeat this exercise, perhaps taking five in-breaths and five out-breaths on each stage, first stage the head, face and neck. Second stage, the shoulders, arms, hands, fingers. Third stage, the torso. Fourth stage, the lower body. Fifth stage, the whole body. But if the mind is not um, particularly agitated, um, if we have practiced mindfulness of the breath at the tip of the nose now, we focus the attention specifically on one point. And that point may vary from person to person. Choose the spot, the point at which the sensation 
of breath is clearest. It's comfortable, it's clear, and we establish our attention at that one point. And now our effort is to appreciate the in-breath and appreciate the out-breath. Just, just, just the way you would appreciate uh, a beautiful, complex, subtle work of art, a sense of interest, awake, enjoyment. So we are not concentrating on the breath, not making it a burden, but appreciating this beautiful, subtle experience of the inhalation and the exhalation. We can sustain that wakeful appreciation of the breath that mindful enjoyment of the breath, then the mind will not seek for the small pleasures of memory and imagination, and the mind will settle down bright, clear, and still in its appreciation of the in-breath and appreciation of the out-breath.